Hello, I'm Anne Kerr. Welcome to my art studio. Trees in the autumn, or trees in the fall, if you live in America, is what we're going to be painting today. Now, I've already done two videos about painting trees using a brush, so in this video, we're going to paint trees using a sponge and some masking fluid. So, are you ready? I've already made a video about how to apply masking fluid, so I thought in this painting we'll use quite a bit of it so you can see how it works. If you'd like to have a go at this painting, you can download the line drawing later on from my website, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. So let's get going. So the materials I'm using for this painting are my usual brushes, which is my big wash brush, my number 18, 12 and 8 round, my 3 quarter inch flat and the little rigger. And the colours I'm going to be using, just three colours, quinacridone gold, burnt sienna and sepia, and two little bits of natural sponge. Here I've drawn very roughly the position of the tree trunks. I've put on quite a bit of masking fluid so you can see how it works. I've used an old round brush and a very old brush that got chewed by the mice <laughs> to put on the masking fluid because it gives lovely textures. And down here I just used an old toothbrush and I sprayed the masking fluid on like this. I've done it beforehand because I wanted to wait for everything to dry. I used my big wash brush to make the paper really, really wet all the way down and then waited for about a minute for the initial shine to go off the paper. So in first of all with Crinacridone Gold, a fairly weak wash. Add a little sepia especially into the centre of the painting which is going to be the distance. Now some slightly stronger quinacridone gold mixed with a little bit of burnt sienna and drop this in onto the wet paper and let everything blend together. Now with a sponge, with, with some fairly concentrated quinacridone gold. Now some burnt sienna, everything is still very wet. Now drop in some clear water. This will cause runbacks or cauliflowers if you like and this will add some extra texture to the picture. Allow everything to dry. Now you can see where I dropped in that water and it's got some lovely texture marks. 
Now everything is very dry, so we're now painting wet onto dry. Just go around the outside and avoid the middle. Don't worry if you go over the trunks of the trees, we can always find those later. Now with the number 8 brush and a little bit of nice cool sepia, we'll drop in the background trees. and a little bit of foliage at the bottom of the trees. Notice how I'm holding my brush. Now with some burnt sienna, we'll start painting the bigger trees. And remember to drop in the dark on the right hand side of the trunks. Continue the branches up into the foliage, just putting it into some spaces here and there. and again up through the foliage. Drop in a little bit of vegetation at the bottom because the tree wasn't planted there last night. <laughs> Drop in some weak mixture of sepia and quinacridone gold and while it's still wet drop in the other colours. Remember to put most of the dark on the right hand side. Now follow the tree up through the foliage. Wet the area for the next tree. And again, 
drop in the colours wet in wet. Remember it's the darks that make your picture. So some lovely strong darks, especially on the right hand side of the trunk. And once again up through the foliage. Wet the trunk of the left hand tree. And drop everything in wet in wet. Now I'm using my slightly larger brush my size 12. Strengthen up that right hand edge and some lovely juicy darks down at the bottom. With a damp brush, just lift out one or two little highlights. Now we'll put in the little branch of this tree that we forgot. <laughs> Once again, take it up through the foliage. One or two little twigs and branches using the size 8 brush. Now with the rigger brush, lots of little twisty, wriggly branches. Notice how I'm holding the brush at the end. A couple of distant trees on the left hand side. And a few more twisty wiggly branches. Twisty wiggly by the way is a technical term. <laughs> a 
with a number eight brush, gently mark in the end of the path where it joins that beautiful yellow field at the back. A few little texture marks and then we'll allow everything to dry completely. Now that it's lovely and dry, rub off the masking fluid. With a weak wash of quinacridone gold, glaze over the white areas but leave a few little sparkles. The same weak wash on the left hand side of the trunks and then drop in a little bit of sepia. Now we'll paint the lovely little yellow field at the back of the woods. This area has already got plenty of texture, so all we need to do is to drop in some colours wet into wet. Just remember to leave a few little sparkles here and there. and the light side of the little tree that we actually forgot. Paint the stones using some washes of sepia.
drop in some darks wet into wet. And remember the all-important highlights on the stones. Glaze over the marks on the path. and put some little shadows underneath the pebbles. Now some lovely rich juicy burnt sienna in the foreground. Notice again how I'm holding my brush. And there we have the finished picture. And unless you call it trees in the autumn or trees in the fall, I think you will agree that it's probably one of the most beautiful times of the year. I obviously haven't shown you every single brush mark in this painting, but there should be enough information there for you to have a go and follow along. As I said before, if you would like the line drawing for this painting, you can download that from my website and there'll be a link to that in the description down below this video. If you've enjoyed this one, then consider clicking that subscribe button and the little bell icon because that lets you know when I upload another video. If you've enjoyed this one, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, there is an artist in everyone. Goodbye for now.